I'm back. Totally back now. It's not uh, it's not somebody pretending to be be, be be me this time. How are you guys doing today? Jenna, it's really good to see you. Beard Bogle, Monique. Nathan, not great. I hope you got that whisper. Welcome back. Officially off to ship your raffle PC. Yes! I have to figure out where to put that. I'm not sure yet. Hey, buddy. I got a retro dog here with me. And he's ran out of the room. So, next time. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be there by Monday at the latest. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've got to look at MIDI stuff still. I've got all these tabs open. So, I went with J-Pop Body Shop to a huge concert. Thousands of people. Not a single one of them wore a mask. But, it's probably okay. Because everybody had to have a vaccine card or get tested on site before they let you in. So, here's hoping. I guess we'll know in two weeks, right? If there was ever a place I was going to catch COVID, that was going to be it right there. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed having the guest host for the one-hour stream. Oh, goddamn, good luck. I know, right? I've survived worse things. A little nervous, though. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the guest host. Um, I didn't really get any feedback at all about that, to be totally honest. But I thought it was fun. I got to watch a couple of them, and then I downloaded the VODs on my phone, you know, from the, the web interface, and watched a couple on the plane until my battery died. My second connecting flight, my side of the plane, no underseat power. It was just dead. Other side was fine, but not mine. Uh, the nice lady next to me, uh, Amanda was her name, and she was awesome. Probably one of the best seatmates I've ever had on a play. We, we, we literally got drunk and just talked about everything on the way back. Um, mostly food. Food and dogs. But she tried to help me charge my phone with her battery pack. Get this bullshit. My battery, my phone, went from 40 to 29. Charging her battery pack. What the fuck? I think, like, the C to C just is a no-go on that particular charger. I think that's how it charges. Um, but yeah. But on my flight out, I'll just, I don't know, I'll go through the highlights here. This is so much to talk about. On the flight out, the guy I sat next to didn't really say much, and then once we got, like, you know, they came around with the drinks and we both got, like, alcohol, he just goes, cheers. And I was like, yes. That's how you do it. Um, you know, you acknowledge once, make sure you're not hostile. But by the time that plane landed, you know, I found out a little bit about him and his twin brother and how they were going to go hit up casinos around Denver, or outside of Denver, I guess. But alcohol brings people together. Doesn't it, though? Doesn't it, though? So then, you know, met Jenna at the airport, and uh, we crashed. Actually, it wasn't all, uh, you know, unicorns and rainbows. That hotel was full of fucking cockroaches. We killed a couple. Hey, Tony, it's good to see you. So, but there, the whole town, like, so thousands of people descended on a town that didn't know they were coming. So only the Sloss Furnace in Birmingham knew that there was going to be a bunch of people. So there wasn't anywhere to go, anywhere else to sleep. That hotel needs to be renovated with fire. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so awful. The yeah, exact, damn, those are nice roachy moats there. Didn't bring any home. You know, got home, dumped everything into, you know, I took it took it all out in the yard. We shook it out before I packed it up. Took it all out in the yard, put it in a, a you know, bag, big garbage bag, and then, you know, washed all my clothing. Seemed to be all right. Seemed to be all right. There wasn't bed bugs or anything like that. That's actually scarier. Cockroach here and there, not the end of the world. But... Bed bugs. That's that's a bad deal. You don't want that. Like the fucking wall was coming apart inside this place. The outside had like um, big chunks that had, you know, fallen out. Mr. V, thank you so much for the raid. There we go. Okay, my alerts were turned off on this scene for some reason. Oh yeah. Hey, did anybody watch the Twitch? 
they did like a Q&A on the new mobile authentic no phone number verification system to help stop the people that are creating bots um, and you could toggle it on in your channels now I forget which tab it was under but it's right next to the email verification requirement um, I got mine set for needs to be phone verified for two weeks I feel like that's a good starting point you can exempt your mods VIPs and subscribers from it with little toggle boxes you can also make it be they have to follow the channel for a certain amount of time or first time chatters. Um, you can include them in that. I didn't include them. I just did the two weeks verified account. I feel like if anybody's, you know, popping into my channel, they've probably been on Twitch for a bit on an authentic account, right? But this took them five months, they said, to get this one on the back end and everything working just right. But per mobile number, you're only allowed to make five Twitch accounts. They wanted to make it as expensive and annoyingly hard for um, the really bad, bad actors that are doing the hate raids and all that stuff. Because phone numbers are not as cheap to get a hold of. Not like email addresses, which don't cost anything. You didn't have to verify? No. It ju they just turned it on today. Um, also, it only applies to new accounts. So if the account is older than two weeks, you don't have to be verified. Hey, thanks so much for the bits, Arnie. Who's this guy? Hey, Loyal. I missed you, friend. <laughs> um, so if you've had an account longer than two weeks on my channel, it's fine. You'll be able to chat. Uh, but if it's a brand new account, it e needs to be either two weeks old or be verified by a phone number. So, yeah, the rock concert was amazing. Metal core concert, something. I saw bands that I never thought I'd get to see because they stopped playing years ago. Um, they got back together. Big old, you know, bands back together uh, festival. I think that will help with spam. I do, too. I feel good about it. It'll definitely help with, you know, unkind trolls. If you're watching the Twitch channel chat. Yeah, yeah. I watched that too. I'm glad it was like short and to the point, right? I had a great time. Oh my god. I didn't rock out like I did, you know, when I was 20. Because I turned 37 on Saturday and I'm too old for that, I think. Be kind trolls like me. Yeah, Lola the Soil is a designated friendly, friendly troll. Like a friendly giant, but friendly troll. EVL. <laughs> Um, I bought a lot of records and a lot of t-shirts. This one, I bought this one. This thing is awesome. So this is Unearth's Watchers of the Rule. <clears throat> you want to hear about breakfast? Oh my god, the breakfasts were all so good. We went to a place called, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, like tie-dye green kind of over black and it's all over the back of and everything. So it's not like the typical shirt where there's just like a window for an image or a print. I love this shirt. Thank you. I also bought this album. I opened it, but I haven't listened to it yet. <clears throat> yeah, you look different. So we went to a place twice um, called Big Bad Breakfast. That one. Hi, buddy. What you know? Oh, you don't want my hand. You want one of these treats on my desk. That's why you go to that bed. Ain't got nothing to do with me. There you go, sweetheart. Everybody say hi, Retro. He knows that they're stored in that cabinet somewhere. He's starting to sniff it out now. I need to get you a bigger bed in here. I'll bet we can figure that out. Maybe that'll be a project for this weekend we can do. Such a pretty animal. Love you. <clears throat> um... What was talking about? Big Bad Breakfast. They had this thing called Cat Head Chicken and Biscuits. If you ever go to Birmingham, Alabama, go there. That one was amazing. Cat Head Chicken and Biscuits was just like the perfect, the perfect chicken and biscuits. I don't even really like eating chicken and biscuits, to be totally honest. Some They kept recommending it. Some of our Lyft and Uber drivers. So I tried it. And then 
We went back a second time and I couldn't not eat it again. It was so fucking good. We also went to a place called The Essential. I can't remember what I had there, to be honest. But it was good. And then there was another place. Their website is Evil Bartenders, but they're called Black Market. Yeah, three Lyft drivers in a road were like, Big Bad Breakfast. And we're like, okay, okay, we're going. Um, but Black Market was really good. I also had like a chicken sandwich there. It was like a like a Philly cheesesteak, but it had chicken instead. And their chicken was perfect. Jenna was saying it was probably made by microwaving, cooking the chicken, and then, you know, pan frying it. So it's nice and moist on the inside and hard on the outside. It's pretty freaking good. But yeah, Birmingham, Alabama has good food. The town, I think the town without all the people for Furnace Fest was full of tumbleweeds. <laughs> it looks like a very quiet place. <clears throat> you had bacon hash sort of thing at the Essential. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. I'm not craving it like I did the other one. I had the best hot dog of my life. They had those, uh, a bunch of trucks at the venue. They brine their chicken. Yeah, kind of. Um, and they had this hot dog. They put this sauce on it, which was like blended sauerkraut, pickles, ketchup, mustard, uh, mayonnaise. And it was just, they called it kraut sauce, this guy did. And I threw out jalapenos on top of it. And oh my god, it was so good. It was so good. I walked around extra that night so I could justify buying another one. That sauce was amazing. Like, it was just perfect. Because there's nothing worse than getting everything you want on top of a hot dog and having it all explode, like fall off the sides, right? Your yummy rumble did that? Oh, it's amazing. So I'm going to be trying to perfect that sauce. Food trucks are all pretty good. The lines were insane. The first night, you had to stand in line for like an hour to get alcohol. It got, it got better. It got better after that. Um, a band called Stretch Armstrong showed up on day two with their merch. The line was like two hours long, and then there was nothing left, so they packed up the packed up the table. Uh, I missed out on that. That's a bummer. Those guys haven't like been at, been to a show or you know played a show since 2005, which is crazy. Got to go back to work. Jenna, thanks for stopping in. Love you. <clears throat> Jenna was the singer um, in my band, uh, Serenity's Call, till about 2011 when we decided to break up. I had a great time. I made so many, like, you know, those, those instant lifelong friends that you never see again, right? While we were waiting for bands to play, you just start talking to people. And, like, I met a couple of guys that were just, like, you know, eyes like this big, just hyped to see the band that was coming up. And you talk about, you know, all the places you heard and where you've seen shows. Oh, it was friggin' amazing. Are you being told you gotta go to bed? Oh, he's gonna, being told he gets to stop disrupting your street. Can we just close the door? I thinking I'll open it up when I fucking nothing. I love you, my friend. Cause he's being that so. Alright, gold mom. I haven't actually been paying attention. I've just been trying to not stammer over my own words, but has he been like running in and out behind me? <laughs> Anyone find that new Easter egg yet? No, there's a new Easter egg. Um, if you are a subscriber or have ever donated, there's a little snippy preview of it um, in the, uh, not the wall of monetary value, the, um, I paid for this channel. Which I can show you guys probably here real quick. <clears throat> no, sorry. Uh, it's in I Pay For This, but it's in a channel called Classified Plans. Um, which is where I show things that I'm working on. You know, a little something extra. Let's see here. Ah, it's the wrong side. Always be like that, though. Okay. 
So that's in here. Yeah. So right here. New stream Easter egg was added today. We'll be live tomorrow. That's today now. As always, only one person, different each time, knows how to trigger it. Uh, unless you guys figure it out. So here it is. There's your hints. You need, you need videos? Remind me. Send me a PM on uh, Discord. I'll send you some links. Uh, there's your hint. That Easter egg exists. It's a real thing. Um, Easter eggs in this stream are combinations of words. Most of the Easter eggs have like five to ten variations of word combinations that'll activate them. They don't need exclamation marks. It's just like this one, you can activate it by typing. Okay, there you go. There's your hints. There's still a bunch in here. Oh, what was important, what was on the monitor? Evelicia, it's good to see you. Welcome in. <clears throat> well, whenever I make an Easter egg, I just like, PM one person and be like, yo, here's how to activate this. So if they ever feel uh, compelled to come into the channel and do it, they can. There's like four or five that nobody's found still. Well, no, yeah, six now. Arnie's on the right track. He's on the right track but it's pretty specific to screensaver. Hmm. All right, what else did I do? When I got home yesterday, I started working on this computer. I cannot figure out how to dual boot from two hard drives, Windows 98 to Windows XP. Maybe it's the headers on the motherboard. Maybe, I don't know. It's, I've been looking and reading a bunch of things and I'm not really finding an answer that works. Like, I've got one in line with... I got one by itself, you know, and it's going to be the primary. And then I've got one in line on another ribbon cable with um, the CD-ROM. That didn't work. Obviously, they don't work on the same ribbon, I found out. Not if they're both set to primary with the little toggle that you slide in on the back. So, I was hoping to have that be a Windows 98, Windows XP dual boot. I do have an old laptop hard drive that I put in there. And got Windows XP up and running. Ribbon, IDE, cables, old school. Yeah. Um, and that works. And it's got... It's got... Um, uh, like 320 gigabytes for Windows XP. And that works just fine. I don't remember what I was talking about. And everything seems to run on it, so... All of these innards right here are going to replace what's in that IBM Net Vista. Um, I think I'm just going to do it that way. Nate just came in and said he was going to stick it in the mail today, uh, Friday. Day or Friday. Should be here by Monday, which is awesome. But it'll be at my P.O. box. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the Net Vista be purely Windows XP, which is weird because it's horizontal, right? Um, and then the one I won in Nate's raffle is going to be the, my, you know, my dedicated Windows 98 machine. Nate is a legend. That is a fact. Nate the Not Great is freaking amazing. Um, I was going to do this. I'm going to do this for Arnie here. Here. This is, this is the teaser I posted. There are new, God, <clears throat> oh, yeah, customer call you sweetheart and you wanted to punch him. I struggle with that. I like to compliment people. I only know the line, um, to not cross because it makes me cringe when I hear it. Hard to accomplish over the phone, sure. 
I like to compliment people, and it's just, it's, I'm constantly feel like I'm walking, like, a razor-thin wire of what's appropriate to say to some people and not others. Um, because, you know, there's things you can, your level, your level of strangers, probably not okay, always. Even people that you've known for 10 years, right? It's going to depend on the per per person. Yeah. <sighs> That's one of those things that annoys me, because I just constantly have to guess. Because everybody else walking around, just ignoring and being mean and scared of everybody and not willing to talk to them because they don't know the line. Uh, I don't want to live like that. Gotta have, uh, repertoire. Rapport? Rapport or repertoire? I'm not sure what repertoire actually means. I know what rapport is. But yeah. I absolutely agree with Dragon Gem on the phone call thing. Fuck you guy. <laughs> I always, one of my goals, one of my goals in life, or one of the, okay, one of the things that I have decided for myself is that if, you know, a weather conversation, like talking about the weather, the generic, like, I don't know what the fuck else to do, if that has to be the conversation I have with somebody, I won't talk to them. You know what I mean? Like water cooler conversations. Like I, I feel like I'm, you know, close to halfway through my life. And I don't have time to waste on um, something that that has so little meaning. Does that make sense? I just I just can't do it. Um, especially like if it's the same conversation with the same person every day. You know, it used to happen a lot because I used to smoke. So, you know, you'd always meet those people outside of the job or if your job was working with the homeless, they were always smoking. You had to go outside. But, you know, and just those conversations, they, they killed me inside. Like 100 percent. I really I really prefer to have conversations be, you know, meaningful or whatnot. Like I was talking about with the lady on the. Um, uh, on the airplane, who was awesome. I'm 37 now. 70 yeah I haven't had a good luck or, or good run of luck with health soil <laughs> but we'll see I'm just being you know generalizing my way of my way of uh, wanting to do it but reductive I don't know whatever yeah yeah why are we even talking about this <laughs> Okay, so stuff's in the works, stuff's happening. Um, my my schedule, I'm working on it right now. I'm working on the schedule. There is going to be this Thursday. I won't be playing an extra stream because my wife will be gone. So I'm gonna take that, you know, the hours and hours I would spend doing that. And I don't want to put you guys on hold, you know, to get the dog up and go hang out with him, that kind of thing. So I'm just not gonna stream while she's gone. So there's this Thursday, and there's next Thursday. I won't be doing an extra stream. Next Tuesday I will. We're going to be starting um, System Shock with the Logitech Cyberman boob controller for Haggard Hessian's um, uh, Beardathon. He raised enough money that was, that was one of the milestones I picked. <clears throat> I'm small talk about how he hates small talk. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> You want to see 100 year old havoc? I don't want to live to 100. I know my limits. Um, so that's gonna start. That's gonna be a train wreck. I'm gonna try to get as far into the game as I can. System Shock may not be my kind of retro, but I'm gonna give it one hell of an attempt. And if we beat it, we beat it. If we don't, we'll do a couple streams and move on. Um, I believe that Saturday is this uh, this month, November. Sorry, October. Chili Bus and I are going to be doing co-op Quake 1 and all of its expansions. That's the plan. Um, that's not confirmed yet, but that's the plan. 
Um, I plan on being here all month for once. <laughs> I plan on streaming for a whole month. You guys, I didn't really get much feedback on the guest streamers. How'd you guys feel about that? Was that nice? Was that fun? Keep the stream going? Or do you guys just hate coming here and finding not me? You enjoyed it? Good. I thought that was really cool. And you know what was really exciting? Uh, you know, the five people I asked, they all jumped for the opportunity. So that felt really good. Haggard was the best. <laughs> Haggard's the only one I haven't watched yet. I downloaded his, but like I was saying, my phone battery died. So I watched all of Lady Game Guy. I was here for Bogle. I watched um, uh, Doc yesterday. That was an epic stream. He finished that game. He finished the Stealth Affair. What a crazy game. Doc was a lot of fun. Um, so I watched... I didn't get to catch all of Neon, but I, I watched him when our flight was delayed for an hour, so I got to hang out um, on the, the phone. Um, but I didn't get to watch Haggard. That's one of the things that I'm going to be doing uh, while messing around with the dog, is I'll have that VOD in the background uh, this weekend. Um... Oh, right, Redeems. I was going to talk about Redeems. I added a new Redeem. It's in there somewhere. Uh, it's, um... What's new on Steam? I found a way to sort Steam DB to be the last seven days. Um, so that's something if you guys... If you guys want to do, we can go through the new games on Steam, skip over all the porn and crap. Uh, and then remove things, add things, and remove things from my wish list, which has like 700 games in it. It's ridiculous. Thank you so much, House of Mike, for the resub. 10 months. I was looking at uh, who was subscribed to my channel last night. Uh, Opera LC has been subscribed for 14 months, 13, 14. She's the longest still subbed sub founding member. I just thought that was cool. I went looking to see how, how old my uh, you know most current sub was. Or subscriber, I mean. Hmm. I think we're mostly caught up. I'll probably remember more things. At some point, I'll probably share the vinyl I bought. <clears throat> cool. Great. Okay. So, box of the day. I Let me redeem it because it's not in great shape. So, I want you guys wasting your points on this one. Like, I'm going to legit not move all the things out of the way here. And that's dog treats, not, like, hash or something. Uh, Haggard, I saw it. I will get you. So, Bloodstone. This is a pretty alright game. I'm hoping that the 360 version isn't as... Oh, motion blurry as the PlayStation 3 version. I wish it was hash. I don't smoke anymore. My meds um, make it too strong. It's a third-person game. Got some hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't remember the driving, but it must be there. It says it's there. No time to die. Me too. We are up to... My wife and I were re-watching Bond movies. We are up to... You Only Live Twice. That's what we did last night. I like that movie. Might not be the best Bond movie, but I enjoy it. I had a lot of continuity errors I didn't catch the first time. But yeah, this is Activision. Uh, Bizarre Creations. Looks like they made it. Demon Wart? What does that say? This case is in poor shape. Demonware. Thank God for cameras, huh? Case is in terrible shape. I just bought the cheapest one I saw on eBay. This is a terrible case. Like, holy smokes. You just, just drop. Yeah. Yeah. This is an alright game. It's. I would actually recommend this. Um, but we'll see how the 360 version is. I'd probably go ahead and say I recommend this over it. This game just... Oh. 
This was the game that made me realize how much I hated the DualShock 3 controller. There you go. Is that your new emote, Haggard? It is. Famicom. But yeah. Okay, let's do the... Uh, let's do the what's new on Steam. I think... Yeah, oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Are we all here in the scene? I'll have to look. Okay, there we go. I figured out how to make this do uh be centered no matter how I how I shape it. I kinda love that. Alright. So I'm doing SteamDB.info. Upcoming last week. So it's a seven day. Uh, you can type that in if you want. Or the other way to get to it is uh so you go to SteamDB. Yeah, how do you get to it? How do you get to it? Last seven days? Printing games. How do you expand these out? Not sure how I got to this. Oh, menu. Uh, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> you guys can figure it out if you want. I don't see it. It's weird. Smashed potatoes. Have you ever had smashed potatoes? Those are dope as shit. Smashed potatoes, you just smash them and throw them on a grill, and they're so good. You microwave them so that they're a little bit smashable. Alright, so we're just going to go through today's games, I guess. Um, yeah, because they just dump garbage on Steam. Yep, see? I saw Linus Gates came out yesterday. This game looks dope as shit. I'm considering buying it. I saw that it has the ability to have remote play together. But it's like a time-stopping tactical um, first-person shooter. Where there's a rewind function and everybody just plays the same like 15 seconds over and over again. Trying to outdo each other. This game looks dope as shit. Ever take baked potato or boiled, mash it with a fork, then throw salad on top of it and some Italian dress? I have not. Potatoes and um, uh, what you might call it? What you just said? Italian dressing. I've never tried that. Yeah, it is PVP. It's all PVP. But it also has shared split screen. I've been thinking about picking this one up. Um, maybe on sale, maybe not. I don't know. Having it around for one of these two options, remote play together or shared split screen, kind of extends the life of a game like this if everybody just falls off. Reviews seem like they're okay. I'm not going to get into, like, the toxic cancer that is Steam reviews, or at least I'm going to try not to. <clears throat> okay. Here's today's games. Madness. Looks like a twin-stick shooter. Where are you? Violent hack and slash. I'm not gonna sit here and watch all the trailers. We're just gonna go through some screenshots. Cell shaded, it looks. Hmm. Seems okay. It seems like a kind of game I would definitely play. What are you? Single player? Oh, co-op. Alright, we'll wish list it. This is how this is how they get you here. Nauseam, how you doing? Because boy, do you have one. Nauseam was playing um, the Outer Wilds, which I'm gonna pick up at some point. We're going through the games that were released today on Steam. Juggler Tale, what? Mr. B said, stay alert. I'm going to need to change my stream setup for games with fast pace. Yeah, fast pace action, you need to up the bit rate or it gets really blurry. What is this? So, hold on. How am I looking at here, guys? So she's. 
What are those called? Larry and Nat? What are the, what are the, yeah, Puppet, Puppet. So it's kind of like Inside? Or, um, what was that other one they did recently? Marionette. Okay. Larionette, sure. Hey, this looks amazing. How good that looks. You know who would love this game? Chester Mammoth. 1619? Seems like a very reasonable price for a game of that caliber. Back in 15. Alright, enjoy your break, Dragon Jim. Okay, Skeletal Avenger. Is this voxels? Looks... Looks like, uh, what was that? What was that game with the dwarfs? The mining thing where you took the drop ship and the mined and things popped up. It's got that kind of static graphically. What's that look like in motion? Loyal to soil, two month streak. Thank you so much for the sub, the resub. This seems okay. Pick a perk. Pick a perk. This feels like it's gonna be, yep, yeah, action roguelike. Uh, $12 is a pretty reasonable price. Deep Rock Galactic, yes. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic's the one I was talking about. <coughs> All right, well, we've added three of three so far. I can tell you right now, this one's a no, aesthetically. That just ain't doing it for me. Also, it's tower defense. I just don't love tower defense. Puff Town. Board game. All right, pass. Yeah, we are. Is it too loud? It's just in the background of the scene. We got we got one last James Bond game today. We got one last James Bond game. Seems underwater, huh? I get nervous when it doesn't look like the developer can actually capture the game in a decent quality, you know what I mean? 8 to 15. Hey, Warlock. Warlock 13. Nice. Yeah, I've got like... I've got a couple of James Bond finals. Uh, I've been, I posted most or all of them to my Instagram today. Um, but I also have a CD from like 2000 that has like a ton of the themes up through Goldeneye. Maybe a little bit further. Somewhere in this room, actually. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Thank you so much, Low the Soil. You're a fucking legend. I'm glad you did too, Warlock. Retro Militia, Steetech Gaming, Board Game Heaven, Iron Gamer, to, 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 uh, to, um, that girl, Stealthy Cullum, Tech Link, Mr. Bars, Aggressively Coconut. I thought it was Aggressive Coconut. I've always read that wrong. Damn it, Brain. Uh, and Son of Eld. I hope you enjoy your gift subs. You gotta show the, you know, buy your way into trolling. <laughs> I need to set up all the the other things in this scene. I think I'm going to end up making a nested scene of nested scenes for everything. So that I, I don't have like a million sources and scenes in each one. It can just be one nested scene that has all of my alerts, all of the easter eggs, all of the, uh, the redeems. Um, I just hope that I can find time to start that damn project. Finish it, actually. God, my big project right now is to finish that Diablo movie. 
I'm really wanting, not a promise, I'm really wanting to broadcast that on October 31st, which is going to be a Sunday. And if you don't know what that is, last year, <laughs> it's, it's taken a fucking while, last year I played through Diablo. Josh M. Games turned all of those adventures into a short story. Um, my wife narrated those as the previously on. I'm combining the relevant gameplay footage with the narration. Nice, you know, hack video editing, cutting, and whatnot. Um, and a soundtrack to create Blood Lily, A Journey Below Tristram, the movie. And I'm hoping to have that ready. I've got one and a half chapters left of cutting to do. Um, I have been working on this since January, off and on. I lost files, but I have managed to find acceptable quality files. I didn't download all the VODs before they got disappeared, but they were exported to YouTube, and YouTube gives you shit quality when it comes to download, so I had to spend time playing them in 1080 and capturing my fucking web browser. It was annoying. It was annoying. But I have everything now. Uh, I just need to finish it. Finish that part. And then I need to learn how to, like, fire animate letters and stuff for chapters. Uh, yeah. Just hack that all together. Okay, what's next? Seems interesting. Let's skip. This is an auto battler. I got zero interest in that. Paid Prime looks like the bare minimum Unity game. Not saying it can't be a great game. <clears throat> so at the top of the list here, it looks like these are the ones that people are paying attention to this is a nudity game I like how it blurs that so we won't be looking at that this visual novel um, anime girl puzzler centipede recharged oh what's this then so it's like Pong and Centipede? Huh. Kind of neat. Say something. Workplace Rhapsody. Guys, we put in paper doll boob physics. Buy our game. Last Hope. Casual strategy. Uh, 69 hits homie love. Skip. <laughs> dun dun. Dun dun ver. Dun dun ver. What you got? Your VR. So. Okay, well, seen enough of that. <laughs> uh, nudity. Strategy RPG simulation. Motorcycle bike simulator. Yeah. $2. All right, skip. Grapple hook. This looks like an awesome game called Riff Racer. Psychedelic racing local co-op. Y'all ever played Riff Racer? This one, you put your own sound song files in it. And this is some serious fun right here. I love playing this game. It's been a while. Uh, but you dodge things that are generated by your music. Uh, do power slides. and uh, this, this is fun. Not to be confused with Ridge Racer. That's a different thing. Okay. So that's called Momentum. Here's Bridge of Dawn. Family friendly. I remember Road Rash. Yeah. Loco Cycle. Have you ever played Loco Cycle? 
We almost finished that on stream. This seems... Well, it's going to be a hard pass because the screenshots have terrible motion blur in them. Bye. <laughs> Alpha deck. That's card game. Super secret. Eh. Our token dumper? What? What is that about? Weird. Digigachi. Well, we know what that's about. Fiber Tails Dummy Cart. Ellie Rampage. Okay. Tile Runner. Wait, what is that? Oh god, it's like all the worst parts of a of an early FPS. What are we looking at here? Are you guys looking at the same thing? We're looking at all the games that were released on Steam today. It's a redeem on my channel now. What is this Newgrounds anime Tetris circuit? Yeah. What's uh what's horror maze? Six ninety nine. Is this VR? Why would you make the camera so shaky? Yeah, what? Not my thing. The pixel game here called Fay. I'm digging the this. What, this particular redeem? I, I kind of like this too. Big cat from hell! Are you a visual novel? Alright, so we're totally gonna skip that. Fey seems... Like it would go in my library and I wouldn't play it. Point and click adventure? Clicker. English language not supported. Okay, bye. <laughs> what are you? It's like a combat something. Yeah, I was inspired to do this because of Dr. CDCS's Steam Clean Redeem. This looks... sluggish. Anime Tetris, this is what you wanted to know about. Uh, Nausea. Wait, this is not porn, okay. Look at all the anime! Much anime. I gotta be careful here. Nudity might not be listed. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? Wait. No way. Is the Tetris this tall? What am I... Alright, let's get out of here. Coming soon. That's not released today, is it? Behind Closed Doors, A Developer's Tale. How many times do you think they say, it's not a bug, it's a feature? Platformer. Platformer. That's a pretty scene. I can get behind that. Ah, oh, Higgs Boson! Timed puzzle. Skip. Eyes of the Night. Llama Glama Game Company is who made this. Was it spelled right? Was Tetris spelled right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't know. Caves of Mars. So it's a shooter. I are cowboy. I am a cowboy. Seems... Yeah. This is. Yeah. Better recording, capture your screen. This, um. This looks like the absolute bare minimum went into this. Amy Cowboy? Yeah, right. Never. End Neverland. Oh, oof. <clears throat> Close Quarter Supremacy. The Legis. Third-person shooter here. <clears throat> For what platform? Oh, God. See, when a developer can't properly record their game, 
It's a big nope from me. You know what I mean? I appreciate the effort that goes into making a game. They mail you the individual frames for it out. <laughs> oh, console don't shut down. So we will get to today, today's game. That was one thick merc. Yeah, it's just... No reviews. How do you find out if anybody's played it? 24 hour peak. Rating followers. Ballin'. <clears throat> What do you got, ballin'? This looks like a third person, that game on the Sega. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. Toby Hollister. Made that, apparently. String Rush. Doesn't really, uh... Platform Puzzle. Oh, it's like D and D. So it's kind of like um, if you had Dragon's Lair and it came with instructions. Sure. Kind of a cool death scene. Huh? String Rush. I have to run, but I'll be lurking. Hey, thanks for the lurk. I might rethink how this one works. This is actually taking kind of a while. But we're almost to the end. I might like just do like the top ones that have you know trends or ratings because each day has like a couple of those because there is so much garbage just dumped on steam every day thousands of games a month which is crazy yeah i've never played that golf for ice this looks like worms or that uh the tank game scorched earth but golf Steam doesn't delete games. You have to really... They'll remove them from sale. You have to really fuck up to get your game removed from a library. But there's plenty of dead MP games that are still in my library that I can still download and get to the menu of. They don't delete games. But they can, you know, hide the store page and remove them from sale. Without pain. Here at the bottom. We gotta look at the bottom, right? Got no video here. Looks like an RPG maker, maybe. Seems like a lot of fidelity for RPG maker. I wonder how big it is for Steam. I don't think they have a cap. Like, if they ever have a cap, I think they just add more. They learned their lesson a few times not having enough servers. Or product keys. Prey used to be sold on Steam. The original Prey. They ran out of keys. It got sold out digitally. See, one of the only games I think that ever was. Which is kind of hilarious to me. There it is. There's one day. It seemed like there was some cool stuff yesterday. Wait, Then and Us. Isn't this that... Isn't this that, um, that game that was supposed to be modeled after Resident Evil? I think I watched somebody play a prototype of this. I thought that looked kind of cool. Demo. Demo. I think the demo was here, now the game's out. That's cool. Retro costumes. Free! Uh-huh. Oh, that's nice, actually. Kind of like that. That one's actually been on my radar a little bit. See, I wouldn't have even known that came out. Wouldn't have even known. Anyways. I'm going to take a quick restroom break because I've been sitting here drinking this uh, sweet tea. And then we're going to fire up the game and get moving. So I'll be right back. Hang tight, everyone. Every, 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 what everybody. It's going through the Switch eShop. Yeah, but Switch eShop has less trash? Question mark? 
The Nintendo Wii and the 3DS have plenty of trash, though. I have seen that. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. My wife's actually uh, leaving very soon. I'm going to talk to her for a second. Uh, she is going down to another hospital in another state to sort their shit or something. Something. Cool. So Xbox 360. So we're looking at this one now. This is the final James Bond game. Uh, the rest of the week is technically... Some of it's not Spy Timber. What is today the last day of September? Oh, there's one more day. So Thursday and Friday, we're going to be looking at um, Pitch Dark. No, Perfect Dark. I was thinking of Pitch Black. And Siphon Filter on the PS1. And then we're going to Spy Games for a year. Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to do this again next year. I mean, it won't be James Bond games. We did all of them. But I'm sure we could squeeze in some other stuff like Splinter Cell. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. You guys got sound. Great, let's go! We need our Spy Timber. <laughs> Screen is kind of flickering a little bit. I think that HDMI cable is kind of going shit. I hope it's the HDMI cable and not my card. Not my capture device. I'm surprised I remembered how to stream after five days of not. <clears throat> I had that moment when I hit the live button and I was like, I don't know what to do. You really been loving Spy Timber? Perfect. Seems fine on our end. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. This is a pretty cool game. Um, I hope that the Xbox version's better, like I've been saying. It's got some good action sequences. Uh, it feels fast-paced. It's a totally original story. Doesn't follow a movie or anything. Next year, you could join LEGO Fan Ship Timber. I don't know what that is. Got a halfway decent menu here. Got subtitles we can show if we want. Probably gonna do that. Yes. Audio control, not much here. We always look at the options, but you know, in a in a console game, just not anything there. I do like this menu a lot though. Can look at our achievements. It's kind of fun. Turkish Delight. Alright. I guess this had multiplayer.
We'll do field operative. In September, many LEGO fans designed spaceships. I, you remember the Space Police? That was back in like the 80s. Look at those beautiful, look at that font, good looking. So levels loading during the cutscene, which Hello, is cool shit. This is urgent. Priority one. We fear the attack may be imminent. How long until you're on the ground? We should be down in ten minutes. We haven't got ten minutes. The satellite is picking up suspicious activity near Greco's boat. You've got to get a move on now. I'm on my way. Change of plans. Head for the harbor. According to our sources, General, Greco has flown in a group of international terrorists for a suicide mission. The plan is for the attack to coincide with the moment they take the group photograph. I can't much care what your sources tell you, Ed. We've checked Greco out. He is an international businessman here on vacation. His business, sir, is international arms trading. He'd like to see all the heads of state, all the members of the G20, wiped out in one fell swoop. Is that what your sources are telling you? Or is it your female intuition? I'll thank you to keep my intuition out of this, General. I want you to cancel the photo op now. Impossible. You have to have some faith, some trust in my ability to protect them. You can keep your faith. I put my trust in Bond. There's your problem. Smooth as fuck. Loved it. I'm in position. <clears throat> Good luck, W7. Keep watch on the hard <laughs> Report any suspicious activity. Bond. Daniel Craig, best bond. I love Daniel Craig. I do. Hostile radio chatter shows your landing has gone undetected. Okay, Reports so. Show Greco's quarters are located on the lower deck. Find him and stop the attack on the G20. So look at look at the mountains when I turn, and you'll see what I'm talking about. This motion blur is uh, is the most extreme I've ever seen. So there's like a point right here where everything just turns into this blur. It's crazy. I'll go around, sure. There's also a permanent film grain. I don't know if that comes through on the stream or not. <clears throat> I don't think I can use doors. Just kill everyone. Fine. There's no using anything. You gotta check. Oh, these cool weapons. It just yanked my camera around to look at the ladder, I think. Oh, B is the use button. Okay. You guys give me one second. I'm going to grab the other battery holder. This one, I forgot. I had one of them that was really loose, and I think that's the one I grabbed. Be right back.
Yuck. This one's like, I don't know, weird and cheap. Wisdom, we all know it's Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> I don't hate Pierce Brosnan. I don't, I don't dislike any of the James Bonds. To be totally honest. I'm excited for when my wife gets back. We're going to watch Honor Majesty's Secret Service, which is the next one. That's the George Lazenby one. There's nothing up there. We just need to wait for Gregor's word, then get the job done. Where are our escorts? They should have been here by now. Get some kind of problem. I, I took a meeting. I heard Gregor on the phone. They better show up. We can't do this alone. Don't worry. Gregor will Focus be aims. Care. In the meantime, I want to get back to the news. Make sure everything else is still on track. Are you getting this? They're saying it. Stop there we go. Okay. Infinite ammo on this gun. <coughs> I see all these other pistols and guns around, but I don't think I must not be able to pick them up. Good looking water, look at that. It's a pretty game. I like this game. I just do. Mission objective stop Greco's attack, find Greco. Who the hell are you? Attack, Greco. It's over. One man against forty. I don't think so. Guts. Deal with it. Hey, Argy. Thanks for the follow. I'm trying to figure out how to say that. Reload here. Got it. <laughs> Okay, that's how we switch. Fun fact! When bots rage, you don't have to do anything. Or when bots, um... I exactly what it was. I posted it in the Discord. But when you get a bot follow, like a mass bot follow, they have a team dedicated to searching those out and removing them for you. Twitch. Yo, stop him. Check uh, stronger together in the Discord. Hey, Mac lad, how you doing? Okay. Good lord. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, my birthday was on Saturday. I'm t 37, I mean 25 now. I got fucked up there, didn't I? <clears throat> you stop him! Is that a helicopter? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Holy shit, that's great. Give me that. No, the bigger one. <laughs> Get that look on his face. <clears throat> Here's this tomorrow, Libra Gang for life. Yes. Helicopter is down. Take a call, folks. 
pretty smooth 30 FPS, not gonna lie. Okay, let's get back in the line here. I I want to say that the Xbox version looks way better than I remember the PS3 version, but that honestly doesn't surprise me at all. Also going to be 25, Wink. <laughs> right? It shoot. Okay. Nice. Damn, that came down. <clears throat> Here's into ten oh your birthday, yeah. Oh happy birthday, Mr. V. It's his birthday today. Or yesterday for him. Oh, I think I made a wrong turn here. Wrong way! Okay. Probably fall asleep midstream. There you go. <clears throat> now this feels like a James Bond movie, right? More than any of the other games have. Also, the controls get it just right. Okay, there is a vault. Beat a vault. Alright, there we go. There we go. Ooh! Sorry, lady. That's a grenade. Door? Door. Not good, whatever that was. Oh, 
I keep wanting X to be the reload, not the Gears of War. Um, not the Gears of War button. The right bumper. Music over. Enemy's dead. Where is it? You're too late. Okay, we're just gonna leave him. It's fine. Em, how much time do we have? Not much. They're assembling the heads of state for the picture. Heavy metal is still going. Where's the little wall crawling? What? Oh, the music. I got you. I got you. Why do all these games uh, that come in the mail smell like cigarettes? Dude. Every game smells either like cigarettes or Febreze or both. Probably both. 100% of the time. <laughs> So this game was supposed to be, it was supposed to have a sequel. It kind of ends on a cliffhanger a bit. Um, or a trilogy, I think. They had big plans for it. Now, honestly, the execution is just great. It's just, it came out at a time that nobody That's really cared about James Bond. There was like a weird moment there mid Daniel Craig. I personally feel like this one ticks all the boxes. You know, like, car driving isn't terrible, gunplay isn't terrible. I remember there being, like, one or two kind of difficult uh, sections, but I mostly equated that to the controller being really bad on the PS3. I even at one point went out and bought, like, a third-party controller that had the Xbox layout, and that thing just broke on me. Smokers, however, need money. Fireworks? Did you know there were going to be fireworks? Honestly? Yes. How did you know? Quite honestly. Intuition. <laughs> nice to see you, 007. I was worried that you wouldn't make it in time. Well, that makes two of us. Well done. Thank you. May I get you something to drink? Yes, I'll have a bourbon. Neat. And what can I provide for the gentleman? I'll have... You'll have a vodka martini. I like that, you know, in this game, in this particular Daniel Craig universe, that they are getting along. Albert Broccoli's Eon Production Limited presents this beautiful.
one of the better looking uh like intro title scenes the song i don't care so much about but i know we promised you a week's holiday after athens but we have a situation developing that requires immediate attention are you free to speak yes i can talk i'm in a hotel i should be online in a moment There you are. How much do you know about Midhurst Laboratories? Biotech firm, publicly traded, City of London, military contractor. But not just any military contractor. Two years ago, Midhurst Laboratories signed a contract for some mission-critical biotechnology for our defense forces. That's so secret, I'm loath to discuss it even on this link. I understand. Good. Last week, one of their senior researchers, Malcolm Tedworth, <coughs> went missing from his yacht in the English Channel. At first, the Royal Navy presumed he was dead. His boat was discovered capsized after a squall off the coast. But this morning, we received a tip that he's alive and about to sell that research to a buyer in Istanbul. How reliable is the information? Doubtful. An anonymous hmm. caller from a cell phone purchased at a convenience store in Madrid. The phone went dead. But soon after, the US Echelon system picked up another cell phone transmission near a construction site in downtown Istanbul using the keywords I love their computer system the way that it and you know the little lines and swirls it might be a trap a setup any chance that it's the researcher himself hang of conscience second thoughts about selling out the UK that's why the helicopter is landing outside your hotel there'll be a jet waiting at the airport and when you arrive in Istanbul do whatever you have to by any means necessary to find out who's behind this and make sure that research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Good morning, 007. We located the cell phone that the Echelon system found and tracked it to the opening of an ancient catacomb beneath this construction site. We lost the signal when it went below ground, but you may be able to pick it up again once you get into the catacombs. Q branch, end transmission. That was Tanner. He doesn't work for Q branch. What? Yeah, they did for a bunch of them. Quite a few, actually. More than they didn't. You! Stop! Where do you think you're going? Alright, Apple. Safe travels. Love you. Dr. Bond. British Museum. How you doing, Status Monkey? Foundation. Here to study your preservation efforts. Nah. Most of the ones that you have Daniel Craig's appearance have him culture. as the voice actor and Judy care. Dench. Nobody goes down there. Um, Pierce Brosnan was in at hat. least one of the PlayStation of 2 era games. Safety first. And Sean Connery came back for the one that was from Russia with Love. I'm doing fantastic. We're uh, we're coming to the end of Spy Timber, and this is the last James Bond game I'm going to be playing this month. Working with our enemies. Use your smartphone to search for evidence. Also, the last James Bond game that was made. Yeah, because we're now waiting on the Hitman devs. Guy looks a little more like a monkey than he actually tells a little bit. <laughs> what are we doing for dinner tonight? It's raw tuna. <laughs> Purblind, welcome back. Oh, it was amazing. I saw so many great bands. There were, there were like tens of thousands of people. It was crazy. Just raw tuna? Yeah, I think I've got some edamame that might still be good. Um, there we go. We've cloned that computer's hard drive. I'll pass it on to our analysts. Continue searching the area. There were like, there were three stages going on at the same time for the entire three days of the event. 
which was crazy and kind of stressful. So I had to miss a couple bands, but I saw almost everybody I set out to see. With the exception of one, because one stage went started getting earlier than it was supposed to be when we were watching another concert. You're just half watching while scanning crap at work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my ass going on a bit of a diet. I'm gonna do, um... Like, I'm only 180 pounds, but it's all on my belly, and I'm trying to get rid of it. So, I'm also doing, like, an elimination diet to try to figure out why I'm in just feeling awful all the time. So. Uh, 5'11", three quarters. Actually, 5'11 and a half now. When I had the spinal injury, I lost a quarter of an inch. But I do have to get that belly fat off of my to meet you. Please wait for him in the far cabin. Come this way. Off of my spine. My weight goal? Personally? 150? 146? That's where I like to be. It's a pretty game. This way, Dr. Bond. <clears throat> yeah, once 150, 160 is kind of my goal right now. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh, we done fucked up. last two months. That's awesome. That's awesome, Lo. The pit. The pit that just, uh, <laughs> popped into view. Be quick about it. We need more time with that British scientist. There's no. I just gotta run up to him. Hey, absolutely, Lulu. It was good to see you streaming. Is it just a one off when you stream? <clears throat> or, uh. Are you planning on streaming again or streaming more? Okay, we'll do that. Why did my, why did my aim snap down there? It's terrible. The stealth takedowns get you that slow motion kind of max pain or yeah, max pain shot type of deal. You are getting this. That. I feel like there's one more guy, but maybe he got taken out by those explosions. Cool, it's silence. You high lit. So the phone will show me things I can interact with. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there anybody in chat that's played this game before? It was on Steam. It was on. Er, 
I don't think this ever got a physical edition on on PC. I think it only had the Steam release. Um, and since Activision won't refuses to take care of any of their licensed properties, it just you can't buy it on Steam anymore. Um, and I don't think it ever got sold in a place for code, so there's not even like super expensive things around to get it on Steam. You'd have to find somebody that had a gift copy in their inventory. Which I have actually seen Steam accounts that had like up to five gift copies in their inventory. Which is kind of crazy. What do you want here? Just jump. Okay. Excuse me just one second. I'm going to go close the bedroom door because the dog's hearing my voice and yipping and... I just want him to, to chill and enjoy his nap time because puppies, man, puppies. Because he just heard my wife, my wife leave, walk out the door and drive away in her car. He's kind of not, not thrilled about that. Gathering information. Back to streaming on Wednesday nights. Join me tonight. Oh yeah, it's Wednesday now. 8 p.m. Eastern time, so that's 5 o'clock Pacific time. Palodrome Syndrome. So sci-fi puzzle goodness. Perfect. Currently unavailable on Amazon. 100 plus oh, dollars. Yeah. Get into the tunnel system. Yeah. So it does have a physical disc. Nice dragon, Jim. Uh, am I shooting this? What am I doing here? Shootable objects will appear on the smartphone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I would not buy the PC version of this used. I'll bet Steam code be redeemed already. They make a list. There's a list. A big master list of games that have CD keys. Um, and they don't really do that much anymore. Retail CD keys. Alright, here's the list. Um, I know that there was a list. I'm finding, like, there... That was in the old Steam forum. I'm not seeing it now. I'm just seeing the, uh... The Help Steam Retail CD Keys. Yeah. I don't know where that list is. Oh, well. <clears throat> where did I, I lost my controller. I lost my controller. <clears throat> hey, give me a hand over here. Fingerprints, dentures, nothing. Hey, it's all yours. I'm not using a pair of pliers to pull out that guy's teeth. Okay, you're cool. But topside said... <laughs> oh, 
There is another game that's Bloodstone one word. I ran into that today. I didn't actually know that. Body of deceased male. Dr. S just... Sorry, is his last name Justa Cummins? I think his last name is Justa Cummins. Okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I'm a Justa Cummins. Glad you found out about it. Does it look like a cool game? I haven't actually looked for screenshots of the, the other game called Bloodstone. So I see an explosive there. Typical circuit PC RPG. Yeah? Oh shit. <laughs> that foot though. That was a beautiful thing. There was just feet. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Oh, those aren't explosive. Damn it. Just do that. It's not a James Bond game if you're not doing all nut shots, I guess. <clears throat> Pretty good music in this, too. Oh shit, I didn't see him sneak up on me. I got caught reading chat. Same dude as this one? Yeah. Did not realize I switched weapons, but that's okay. We're not going to bother with the lore right now. Oh, I was looking for a switch and I missed this door behind me. Here we go. Here we go. on its way did you send me a tracking number Nate you're a fucking legend we were talking about how much of a legend you were earlier <clears throat> I'm gonna be so excited to do like my DOS Windows 98 game streams from a computer that Nate built like it's gonna be the best uh, meta not meta it's just gonna be awesome I'm really really hyped about that
USPS won't ship computers anymore? And UPS won't ship to P.O. boxes. Two tracking numbers. Our branch won't. So... So is it going to my P.O. box or... Because I think you... I will disk you then. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you had my home address at one point. <laughs> From the before times, before I got a P.O. box. Can you, can you send the tracking on here? <laughs> uh, so did the whole Discord. Yeah, that's true, Dragon Jim. I uh, I was so tired one night, I posted my damn address. Uh, sorry, Loyal, I can't do that. Could you like to dox yourself? Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. Pretty good at that. Yeah, I had posted a, um, I was trying to figure out what a price was and a conversion. When I finally figured it out, after I you know, started a conversation with I just posted the answer because when I had PayPal, like, adjusted it and put, you know, the period and the commas in the right place. Um, and I posted it up and I was like, okay, figured it out. And then I woke up the next morning and Dragon Jim was like, do you mean you put your address there? And it was like right under the, the final price was my fucking home address. I don't know who all saw it. Um... I know Dragon Gym did, so... Hopefully, there isn't somebody in my Discord just tucked that away for, uh... I don't know. Something malicious, because that would suck. There we go. Oh wait, MP5 is a different weapon. What is this? I don't care, it's better. That's all I needed. Damn it, aim assist. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty good. This thing is ready to go. thing. Is this I'm a tunnel captain. boring device? See if you can patch me into Tedworth's signal. No, it's Got like... It. Bring up your phone and it will give you Tedworth's position. A pipe layer? Lead you right to him. October 2nd by 8 p.m. Uh, your address I shipped to you before. Okay, so it's coming to the house. Perfect. That's a Saturday. Alright, that is Saturday. Good thing I'm not doing anything except waiting at the door on Saturday. Perfect. I'm looking forward to this. That means I'm going to dedicate the other computer to Windows XP. Did Backlog get his? Did he stream about it? I missed that, if he did. This tunnel has a security system, apparently. Oh shit, it is a tunnel! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, it's so bad! Uh... <laughs> Jimmy boy, let's go! A to drop. Now we're Laura Croft. Oh. 
nice. Oh. He hasn't streamed on it yet. Uh, he hasn't streamed on it. On it yet, that you know of. Uh, but he did get it. He unboxed it. Oh, that's what I meant. That he unboxed it on stream. Damn it. I have to go back and find that. Was that while I was at the in um, Alabama? Man, I'll tell you this guy's for free. Chamber. I'll tell you Not this guy's. Holding. I'll tell you Some this come down, but for free, guys. Easier. Whatever I meant to say there. Not I grew up in Virginia. And there is a very southern, not not like deep south, but a southern east coast accent that I have slowly gotten rid of over the years. And hearing the fine folk of Alabama talk for a whole week really, uh, really stirred something inside of me. <laughs> that makes me glad I don't have that accent anymore. It is beautiful, though. We had this one... Lyft driver. He's either Lyft or Uber. doesn't matter. Um, that he was talking about his favorite fast food places. Because we were asking all the drivers what food they like to eat. You know, while, we, while me and Jenna were there. And Banjo intensifies. Yeah. And he just... He just... He was talking about some fast food restaurant that I wasn't aware of. It's not out here and it wasn't in Virginia and it definitely wasn't in Fargo. Um, and he just... He's just so excited and shouting. Kind of a big dude. And he just goes, they make their own sauce. <laughs> they make their own sauce. <laughs> and I have not gotten that sound out of my head uh, for days now. And then, of course, Jenna just, she was tickled pink with that. So she just kept, she just kept saying it. But when she says it, it was up here in volume. So she do it was doing it in the middle of restaurants. And I'm just like, oh my god, stop. <laughs> just dying inside a little bit each time. They make their own sauce. Yeah, sauce with a W, exactly. Kind of like how I still say water and wash with an R. She was on a she was on a tirade pretty much the entire trip about how it's not right to add letters to words that don't need them. Oh, that was a good time. I can see. But I wouldn't be much left of they do need to remodel that Ramada with fire, though. Copy that. The cockroach problem was bad. And we had to tough it out. There wasn't any place else to go in town. There was nothing left. Their reviews were straight up lies. I'm just so happy that I didn't wake up with like a cockroach crawling across my face. Uh, when I worked with the homeless population, um, towards the end of that, I worked in an experimental building that was formerly homeless, trying to get rental history people that were still actively using drugs. The cockroach and bedbug problem in that building was, I mean, it was anxiety provoking. So, like, I'm kind of, I kind of didn't care about the cockroaches as long as there weren't bedbugs. You know, you shake out your clothing, you know, pack it all up and you're good. You know, check your check your shoes for eggs. I I didn't sleep great, but I definitely slept. Um, I slept better than her, which was surprising. I mean, we were we were we were out in the sun, you know, bopping our heads to some metal from what eight o'clock to eleven o'clock at night, eight. eight 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. We slept. Our bodies were so tired. My ankles were swollen up. The first thing I did, the first thing I did in the two-mile line for the first day, because they were doing COVID testing and um, card checking for vaccine, first thing I did, before I even got to the back of the line, we walked like half a mile to get to the back of the line, rolled my fucking ankle on a rock. Weirdly, that wasn't the ankle that hurt all weekend. It was, uh, that first day was rough. Like, we were just sweaty and grimy. And it was kind of terrible. But, like, the second day was better. The third day? I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. You know, when it came time to wrap up and all the vendors were closing down on the final day? I just, I felt so sad. 
that we had to leave, that it wasn't going to be there anymore. Um, on the third day, they announced that they were going to do it again next year. So Furnace Fest, the last one, was 21 years ago. Um, and a lot of the bands that had played, you know, then had since stopped, you know, doing albums or playing, uh, got back together to play this one. It was a kind of a huge deal. Um, so I'm I'm excited to see what next year's lineups like. These this was an extremely expensive thing. Two tickets was about six hundred dollars when it was all said and done, and we bought those way back in 2019, before COVID. <clears throat> or, well, I bought them. I paid for both of them. Samurai playing one night only. Can't wait. Samurai. Yes, yes. Samurai from Cyberpunk. I really liked that game. Uh, but I got to see... I got to see bands I never thought I'd get to see again. But getting to see, like, Zayo Living Sacrifice, uh, Stavesacre, Stretch Armstrong. Uh, I didn't get to see From Autumn to Ashes. Saul. Saul Under Oath. Saul... We didn't get to see Piebald. We missed that. We saw this kind of amazing, like, 40-year-old women's, um, kind of like, punk maybe is not the right word. What were they called? Bad Cop, Bad Cop. That was a pretty fun show. Um, Showbread was there. That was crazy. Shy Who Lud. I didn't even know they were still a band. Um, Unearth. I'd say that Stavesacre, they put on a show that I just couldn't believe. I, I would expect it. Like, I like their music. I love their music. And uh, I didn't expect this show to be so good. Like, they were on the smallest of the stages when they played. But the singer, he had this intensity with his eyes. And, oh, my God. I will go out of my way to see them play again. <clears throat> um, Unearth throws down as always. First time seeing Living Sacrifice. They are so incredibly tight. Uh, with their, you know, their guitar playing and drums. Just a masterpiece. Zale was Zale. I used to really love them in high school. Oh! I made a connect- Alright, hang on. Real talk. I made a connection with, um, some people that, that worked with, uh, To Write Love on Her Arms which is another suicide awareness yeah another suicide awareness organization that I hadn't wasn't aware of um, so I got to ask them a bunch of questions I bought one of their t-shirts absolutely gorgeous t-shirt I'll wear that probably tomorrow I guess depending on what size it was I bought t-shirts for my size now and my size where I want to be in a couple months <laughs> um, but to write love on her arms uh, seemed like a really cool organization so I'm gonna be doing some more reading on them and I'm gonna email that thing for those that don't know, do I uh, created run a massive multi-streamer charity event called Save and Raid, where basically we take a video game, we stream each of us streams for an hour, then we wrap up the save file, send it to the next streamer, and raid them. So we just keep going. Same game, same audience, different channels. Never heard of it. Hey, whimsical sprite. It's good to see you, friend. Or friends, depending on if you're both there. Did someone mention Showbread? Yeah, I saw Showbread at uh, Furnace Fest. <clears throat> so I think, I know we're definitely going to probably try to use, definitely going to probably try to use Save again this year. But to write love on our arms has me interested. We just need, we want to not limit it to, you know, America. That's kind of the problem with these organizations tend to be national. One of Nick's faves. Nice. Showbread is wild. They put on a crazy show. It was kind of weird. Like if you weren't, they were really short. It was hard to see their heads um, over the crowd. Some of these seas of people were just miles long. <laughs> I'm sure I definitely got COVID. Delta, whatever. Maybe. I don't know. I hope not. Yeah, they were all super short. <laughs> I got this.
You'll find out within a week. Yeah. yeah the, the sucky thing, like every you you had to get tested um, or have a vaccine card to get in the game, um, and then you got to stamp for that all weekend. But there was there was thousands of people. I mean, this was huge, huge, and nobody wore a mask because uh, Alabama, I don't think, required it. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that too, but I decided not to stress it all weekend and not stress it now like what's going to happen happens. You know, I also got on an airplane, so. Yeah, what you going to do? Yeah, no, I wasn't going to let that ruin the, the time though, for sure. I just do this, you know, latch to it. You only latch side to side. You've been to Disneyland multiple times. Hey, Troll Slayer. I can't talk much right now, but hey, I hope your week's been amazing. Yes, it's been so fucking good. Fantastic. This is your last day, by the way, everybody, for redeeming Become a Bond Girl. Or, well, two more days. End of the week. End of the week, Spy Timber's over. And we're going to go back to playing non-spy games. I don't know what I'm going to do for October. I'm making the schedule now. Wait, what is that? There you go. There you go. Nice. I know, right? I'm not, I'm not really doing a theme. I'm just going to do random games. I may throw some scary games in more than usual, but... I feel like there will be plenty of other streamers playing all the same horror and zombie games all month. Ock equal Tober? Ock equal over? Tenth month? Nothing makes sense. What? Uh... Dead by Daylight? It's going to be a lot of Dead by Daylight. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of those $6.99 cheap horror walking simulators. Some streamers make an entire career out of only playing those games. Like, Jetter plays a lot of them. Brown Pants Gaming does that too. Definitely nothing wrong with that. Just an observation. Is there a map in this at all? You intelligent save and quit. Be friends. You'll be doing Spooptober. I don't know what it is about the word spoop, but I just I don't like the sound of it. It sounds like something that's going to need toilet paper. <laughs> just walk right to the corner. Let's go! I'm doing Retro Militia on Halloween. What? Oh, that machine's working. That's why the screen's shaking. Uh, climb? I dig it. I dig it. They invited me. It's their channel. <laughs> I don't think you could stream that. They invite you to do them. There it is. Smoking kills or some other Bronsonism. What? How did you? Whatever. <clears throat> Who are you? His name is Berlin. He wanted my research. My formulas. For bioweapons. We've got to get you out of here. I'll never make it. The only way is to climb out. But it's not too late. 
Maybe you can still save Tedworth. Tedworth? Tedworth and Burnin? Well, okay. I won't let me. I feel like if the guy doesn't want to leave. It's not my first choice, but you're not far from the top. Okay. Hello, computer. What is that? Oh, is there a door in the... No, that's just that door. Same door already. Climb up, maybe. Oh, I see a ladder. Or I see a... A ramp. Did, um... Use cover. So you're locked. Seam there. You could climb up on this, but I don't. There's not like a real jump or anything. What's this thing? Can I use that to climb? Tedworth's phone. Seeming pretty far away. It's the objective, though. This door is locked. That is a weird perspective, isn't it? Chat, do you guys see what the hell I'm supposed to be doing right now? <clears throat> Do I need to approach this from a certain angle? No, it's just cover. Something up here that I can manipulate. Alright, we're going backwards, I guess. Find a route past the cells. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is still that. Okay, so it has to be in here because it won't let me. Got a message from oh up here there you go okay i got a message from like xbox saying that um i'm a halo insider apparently and that i can play halo infinite this weekend it's news to me Now, if only I knew where the fuck it went. Because it's not here in my messages. Huh. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> This looks really dark for you guys, doesn't it? That helps some. It looks okay. 
looked really dark on my preview screen. Is it bad now, or should I change it back, or is it okay? The giant thing that I was aiming at and missed. <laughs> that's that's already taken, isn't it? Okay. Look green like the Matrix, sure. Did I get him? Did not. Did then. Oh god, no ammo? Oh, here we go, here we go. Hey Dr. ZDCS! Daywalker! It's good to see both of you. Enjoy your lurk, Daywalker. Dr. CDCS had an excellent stream on this channel yesterday. We actually got to see the end of the game. Doesn't happen here very often. <laughs> Had to get a professional. Daywalker, so Dr. CDCS, I know you guys all know. Fantastic streamer, great place to hang out. Uh, Daywalker. I get a shout out for for Daywalker and Doc. Daywalker. Daywalker also has a really cool and chill stream. <clears throat> to the new one, the the Wii, the second Wii Zelda game. Oh, yeah, Skyward Sword. Should be getting towards the end of it if she didn't beat it recently. Playing on hard, the AI is wrecking me. Oh, that's Doc. Uh, Masters of Orion. Nice. I think we're getting close. There you go. There you go. That looks like a different kind of gun, doesn't it? Grenade launcher or something. How do I pick that up? Wait, can I swap out the pistol? Probably don't want to, huh? No. You get the pistol and one other gun for the entire game, I think. It's okay. Hey, DC Bueller, thank you. That was nut shot with the grenade launcher. That only had one bullet in it. That's not great. How was the time off? It was fantastic. Oh my god, I had so much fun. I missed you guys, though, like, a lot, a lot. Probably, probably, Jenna's tired of hearing me talk about how great my community is. Where the fuck are you? Is he above me, behind me? Hello? Oh, the, oh, I thought that was a gun on the ground. Okay, so that's a person. Got him! Eventually. So, oh, some announcements. Um, since there are some new people here. I won't be doing 
the extra streams tomorrow, Thursday, because my wife went out of town to go fix another hospital. Literally, she's a badass. Um, so I I don't want to ignore my dog for eight hours. So I'm just gonna take the day off so I can take care of him, cause he's still a puppy. He needs kennel time and he needs you know lots of energy burn off. So. This Thursday and next Thursday, I won't be doing... I'll be doing my normal stream, just not the extra stream at night. Um, unless I feel like, you know, he goes to bed at 10 and I want to come spend some hours here before bed. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Um, next Tuesday, I'm going to start as much as I can do a playthrough of System Shock 1 with the Logitech uh, Cyberman boob controller. You know it, you love it, we'll be doing that. There will be, obviously, a boob. It's it's literally a controller that looks like a set of boobs. Just, it's weird. It's weird. I'm going to try my hardest to not have a fondle cam redeem. <laughs> but I can't promise anything. Uh, I've never beaten that game. I've never played more than the opening few rooms. Like, I usually get to where you put in the 451 key card code, um, and then just don't feel like playing it anymore, but I'm going to try really hard. I don't know if I'm going to beat the game or not. We'll see. I'm going to try as hard as... Yeah. Translated pretty well. Oh, Masters of Orion. Gotcha. So that's going to start. Um, not confirmed yet, but I'm thinking that Saturdays this month are going to be me and Chili Bus doing co-op through Quake 1 and all the expansions on that new the new release that um, they put in the Kex engine. Night Dive Studios did. Man, wouldn't it be cool? Check this out. Wouldn't it be cool if I could like decide on one sentence to stay to say and not stop myself with another thought halfway through it? Wouldn't that be neat? This is like 98% confirmed, yeah. The plan was to do it in October. I just uh, need to hear back from on the dates. At some point, there's a little bit more DLC me and Spirit of Bobo need to get through. Um, Sniper Elite 3. Ooh, that was a grenade. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die! Find a corner. If you can do it, please tell me how to do it, sure. Oh! Nice long bike. That hurt. That hurt a lot. <clears throat> Do I need to be down here? Was the ladder back up? Can I climb this up? I don't think I need to be down here. Oh, yeah, here we go. What do we have on a man named Burnett? Hold on, I'm doing the search. Here it is. Burnin. Low-level gangster. A middleman. If he's got Tedworth's research, he probably won't be holding onto it for long. Middle school, Jay? <laughs> That's funny. I feel like it's been years since I've seen Old School Jay. His work has him. He, he works in the movie industry now. Uh, doing set stuff. Boy, that scream was... something. And they've been really busy filming Christmas movies. <clears throat> what is the password for the USB drive? Tell me the key to crack the code! Stop! Where are the drugs going? I'll tell you. Thank you. Kill him! Let's get out of here!
He will come through, right. It's day off the other day, but now he's back at it. Let's Did he stream? Go. I'm late for the handoff. The what? He's here. Let's move. Yeah, that's how following works. Dumbass. <laughs> Hell's that? Contact. Will do. The care stuff, sure. I should have jumped through there. I keep my eye out for shortcuts. Bonk! It'll be fine. It'll buff out. Gangsters! Is there a parking brake button? I don't think so. There's nothing. There's just there's just forward and back, I think. I mean acceleration and reverse. They got words, it's fine. That's not good. We're going through here. It said use B to break. Did that work? It's pretty subtle if it does. There it is. Oh look! It's a in the tunnel. Oh, he it was disabled the before the that. Stay with him. Can't lose those documents. Maybe. I don't want a Brinks truck. Get the fuck off of me. Okay. <clears throat> oh God. We haven't destroyed a fruit stand yet. There's gotta be one coming up. It's a requirement in a James Bond movie to drive through a fucking fruit stand. Jesus. So like a QT, yeah, something, something weird. <laughs> Whoops. I can have driver's license now. I don't remember that gas station blowing up. I think I actually made it past that part that I drove off. Technical victories. Oh no, no, here we are. Okay, we're back here. I'm sure the Aston Mark can outdo a brink truck any day. <laughs> I'll hand him this, this is fun. It's arcadey and I like it. Made it. Just feel like those are gonna start dropping on my head. So who's this dirtbag between us? Some street racing kids like, oh sweet! Let me get in on this. You learn how to drive into crazy town. Ay, 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 ay. It's fine. It's fine. Damn, those are some shiny rims. What? what? I'm going the right way now. Burn and got away.
think this is all an original soundtrack, too. Like, it's Bond-ish. Same spot. This game is fun. Oh, by the mini-map, there is a distance meter. A little circle that undoes. This this is one of my favorite James Bond games. Um, I played through this on the PS3 and had a blast with it. If it wasn't... The only thing I didn't like was it kind of looked terrible on the PS3. And uh, that controller is trash for a shooter. Always. So this is the Xbox 360 version, and I'd say play this one. If you have the options. Um, it's also on PC, but it's not really available. Because Activision used to be on Steam. Those games never really go on sale, so I never bought them, and they're not in my library. Oy! Which is a bummer. Going into work. Thanks. Thanks for being here, DC. The only other issue is that this game was meant to have a sequel, so it kind of ends on a bit of a cliffhanger. Hopefully that's not a spoiler, just a fact. They opted to not make more of them. But it is an original story, it's pretty good. Ooh! They seem to really nail down what makes the Daniel Craig movies good, specifically, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Those folks warped, yeah. Did I take out another car? I was busy talking. <laughs> Distracted drivers doesn't even know he's killing people. Make sure he's dead. I'm going to make the handoff. But this game is really cheap on the consoles, on eBay or wherever. You can find it at any GameStop. Bond, can you hear me? Come in, 007. <clears throat> That's got good music, too. Look at that chrome, though. That's great. World reflection in it? Is it the world? Oh my god, it is. Look at that. Well, maybe not. I don't see those two towers that I saw in it. <laughs> it's a reflection of something. Do I need to take that out? Helicopter left. Oh! I, need support. I thought that was it for me! What gun did you have? And where is it? They must have all had pistols. Ah! AK-74. I don't mind if I do. I remember when I picked this game, this one up in the original one, I kind of saw the scope and I was like, can I go FPS? Why not? Get in Hold on, my unkillable bad guys. Yeah, 
damn it. They were all lined up too, and I just didn't have any bullets in the automatic. My phone literally said telemarketing, so we won't be answering that. Oh god, a grenade? Ah. <clears throat> Next! Damn game pros like right there. <laughs> Made me nervous. I'm willing to bet you can get through this entire game with just doing melee kills. There's a challenge for somebody. That isn't me. I guess it depends on whether or not this game has snipers. I kinda can't remember. I wouldn't use them if I had them. I see that it's a crane. Wait, did that say... B? Just mean I can climb it or what? Oh, knock wooden support. Wooden block here. I press the button. Sure. That works for me. Why did it ask me to bring my phone up? Damn it, Brink's trucks. Brink's is like an armored car company, that's why I keep saying that uh, here in America. <clears throat> Maybe elsewhere, I don't know. Feel singled out because you were. Oh shit, it's behind me. Got Yeah, aim assist is really strong in this game.
<clears throat> I'll bet there's options to turn that down if that's not your thing. They're not here. There's... Oh, there's different views and a horn. Missed that. External view look. Oh, right. Uh, camera. <clears throat> yeah, I don't... There's nothing here. Frame assist. Weird. Is that Michael? Mitchell. Michael? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Or is that Michelle? I'd have to see them both side by side to figure out which one was which. It's a name that... That's a name I've always struggled with. I can never seem to lock away in my brain which... How uh, Michael and Michelle are spelled differently. It's my kill. <laughs> Michael. Oh. Well, thanks for that. Now that I've embarrassed myself thoroughly. How you doing? Glad you're here. Not going this way. Welcome in, Michael Mitchell, Michelle. <laughs> this game looks like the Jason Bourne, a little bit of Max Payne. I played that Jason Bourne game back in the beginning of Spy Timber. It was. It was okay. I had to, like, destroy the, the math tables on the PS3 to get the graphics to look right because it wasn't loading textures for some reason. Um, I kind of struggled with that one because I was also watching its uh, its capture. And it had a delay, and there's a lot of very heavily timed fight scenes with quick time events. I was getting my butt kicked, and I didn't know why. Finally switched it over to just displaying on my monitor. Instead of watching the actual capture. And it made it a lot better. Max Payne 3? That's a perfect game. That game is phenomenal. That game was quiet, but the quick times were... Yes, they were. I remember that. <clears throat> God, I love all the Max Payne 3... Max Payne's. Yeah, I'd say if you if you like that, you probably really enjoy this one. It doesn't have like bullet time die or anything like that, but it's one of the better James Bond games. I feel like I'm allowed to say that now because I've literally played literally all of them have been played on my channel. This month, <laughs> you can check the bots; they're all there. <laughs> Just, can we just do this, maybe? Keep trying. Here's hoping. Maybe one day. Okay. I think we're just going. Oh my god, I love Spec Ops The Line. Yeah, this plays like Spec Ops The Line uh, without the thing. We just did three, four months ago, I played uh, all of the Spec Ops games, including the very terrible PC version of the original, the original game. And then we took a look at all of the PS1 games, and then we played Spec Ops The Line. I've beaten that one before. I have not played SOCOM. SOCOM's on my list of games to acquire for my PlayStations. Spec Ops Line is so good. 
That is one of like the shining examples. Like there's like Metro 2033, there's Spec Ops The Line, um, Wolfenstein New Order, like games that can tell a story well. Yeah. If you haven't surmised from the title, this is the one hour stream. Basically, I just check out games here. Sometimes I share games that I've played previously, like this one. Um, or, you know, theme weeks, theme months. This is Spy Timber. But essentially, I play one to three hours of a game. So, a lot of tutorial levels. Uh, there's Tuesday and Thursday nights. I pick games that I really like from that. From that stream. Full play. Go all the way through them. It leans kind of heavily retro sometimes on that stream. Literally, it's games that are in my backlog. And it's very old. The desert levels are bright, yeah. There was another game that was in the same vein as Spec Ops The Line. It was called Binary Domain. Did you play that? That is a real gem in the rough, that one. I heard him. I haven't really been using it, but there is kind of a bullet time in this. Why is he still alive? He can't be allowed to stop the like this. That kind of snaps to their head, but you have to do melee combat to build it up and you can only have three. That's that little thing on the bottom left. You only have the second one? First one, the first one's amazing. The second one I think was my least favorite. I really like the tropical setting. And the second one just doesn't have that. I want a name. Who are you working for? But I really like Crisis 3 Let's as well. Let's try that again. Who is it? Who hired you? Give me the name. Pomeroff. Stefan Pomeroff. And where's he taking those papers? I don't know. I've told you everything I know. Please. <laughs> Please, let me go. I'm no good to you anymore. You got that right. This is one, one angry, angry bond. What is it, 007? Did you intercept the research? Turkish delight. No, the researcher is dead. But I've got the name of the buyer. Go on. Pomorov. Stefan Pomorov. I've got him. Russian businessman. Nothing flagged, no police record, no unusual connections. According to the immigration data, he's in Monaco, due to leave on a flight to Moscow tonight. I'm sending you his picture and file. Got it. Let's get in touch with our best contact in Monaco. I'm bringing up the list now. See if he can stall Pomerov from leaving and have him meet me at the airport. Of course. Good. I love we'll the way the his interface looks. James. I haven't played Killzone yet. I almost didn't recognize you. I'm sorry, have we met before? I think once. Something in England. Nicole Hunter. My friends call me Nikki. Nicole Hunter. You're the jewelry designer. I've been called worse. It girl, socialite. Well, it's nice to see you, Nicole. I'm sure you've got a plane to catch. Actually, M sent me. Interesting cover. But not an unpleasant surprise. Should we go? The car's over Meanwhile, there. in the alternate timeline, what just happened in that conversation? Nice car. It's a friend's. Would you like to drive? I feel much safer with a man behind the wheel. We're just gonna leave that. It's loud what too. Can you tell me about Pomerov. Oh, he's such a lech. But he's kind of sweet for your basic Russian oligarch. He owns oil wells, diamond mines, and his own 737 with gold-plated fittings, of course. <clears throat> How do you know him? Sweetie. 
There are only six people worth dating in the world, and I've probably gone out with half of them. Turn here. Okay. The truth is, he supplies the chemicals used to alloy the gold and silver in my line of jewelry. And he's been after me to open a boutique in the casino he just bought in Monaco. He bought the casino? Mm-hmm. Another trinket on the must-have list for oligarchs. After a supermodel wife. So, I got yeah, him to delay his skips. flight back to Siberia. That's where he keeps the wife at his headquarters, so she can't spend all his money. And we're going to meet in the boardroom. I, just, I can almost, I can almost hear who this voice actress is or who this actress is. Well done. So how did you... End up in bed with MI6? Well, that's one way of putting it. Darling, it's the perfect cover. Fashion shows, photo shoots, store openings. I get to travel the whole world, and nobody pays any attention. Emma approached you? Not exactly. Well, how not exactly? Well, there was this little tax problem a few years ago. A little tax problem? And a small customs problem involving some diamonds. But that's how a girl from the society pages ends up working for MI6. Yes, James. But believe me, when necessary, I can be very discreet. You can drop me off in front of the casino. That is a nice car. I'm going to put on my war paint before the meeting. I'll text you on the cell phone to let you know when we're almost finished. <laughs> she accidentally pressed it. Okay, I'm going to call the stream here because i got to get the dog up, take him for a walk, and eat dinner. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific. Yeah. What is tomorrow? What am I going to do with that button? Here it is. I got to wait for the thing to scroll up. It's over here now. <clears throat> Figure out what it is. So we're going to find somebody awesome to raid. It's doing that. It's either Perfect Dark or Siphon Filter, and I think it's Perfect Dark, which is going to be the the Xbox 360 version of the N64 game. We'll get there eventually. Might as well for somebody to raid. has a camera now so we can all go see what he looks like let's head over there that's a new development I just missed it there it is tomorrow is perfect dark cool 2 p.m. pacific time Ihor, what a name. The perfect fart. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the warm welcome back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed all the guest streamers that were on my channel for the past week. The ones that I've watched, they were uh, fucking awesome. And it was really cool that they wanted to do that. I want to ask. Hopefully, it'll just be me and I won't have to you know, step away for extended time for a while. I got something, something in the works for November that we're not going to talk about. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go hang out with Big D. He's an awesome dude. If you're not following him, be sure to drop him a follow. He is fucking cool. Have a great, great night. Lunar, solar cycle thing. Go!